pork ribs on the barbecue. Um, everyone wants to know how to cook pork ribs on the barbecue because everyone loves pork ribs, which is fair enough, they're pretty tasty. Get yourself a good rack of pork ribs. Some um, free range pork. A nice little rack of St. Louis pork ribs. You can see they're quite um, rectangular. When you flip them around, see how the ribs sort of come off the side a bit. Um, like, sort of around there. Um, so that's what your St. Louis ribs would look like if they came off a human. They would just come off there. A little bit of the belly flap on there as well, which is fine. Don't even worry about that. Um, these are a bit different to your baby back ribs which come up around the back here um, and they have a little bit of the loin meat attached to them um, a little bit of a curve in them which is fine but honestly like I, I probably prefer the, uh, the, the St. Louis cut um, they have a little bit more room for error with them right? you, you get whatever you want pretty similar to cook them Maybe the baby back's going to be just a little bit more gentle, but that's all right. We're going to cook these today, so who cares? Some kind of barbecue porky run. We'll make our own one day, just not today. I just want to get these in. Some kind of barbecue sauce, something sweet or kind of sweet even, as it says there. Um, and that's got just a, a touch of water, just enough to make it loose enough just to just to pour quite well. We need some butter. We need some honey. The reason my honey's in a cup is because it's quite solid. And I've just got to melt it a little bit in the microwave. We need a little spray bottle. Put some apple juice in that if you want. Put some water in it, I don't care. Just something to keep these just a little bit wet. Oh, in lieu of honey, you could use brown sugar. A lot of people use a bit of both. Then we season these ribs up. White season, they're going to sit for five or 10 minutes. And then they'll go into the barbecue at 250 F or 125 Celsius for a couple of hours until they get a sexy ass tan. These things, look at that. That's, that's like, looks like the local cougar when she leaves the solarium after a weekly visit. So we're gonna spritz every half an hour with our little spray spray. Um, yeah, keep going, cool, and that's two hours in, that's when we're going to pull them off and wrap. And now we're going to wrap the ribs, now they're looking all sexy, so a couple of knobs of butter, a um, couple of tablespoons of honey, once again you could use brown sugar, but I like the honey thing, and then we're going to slap our ribs down on that. Wrap them like it's your lunch. Wrap it up all nice and tight. Tuck it in there. Make it all sexy. Yeah, fold it over. Ticky ticky. Um, push down. Tuck it in some more. And that's it. Like, make it all happy. Beautiful. And then they're going to go back in the barbecue for maybe another hour until they're sexy and then we're gonna glaze them and get on. Okay, um, so now it's gone, we're gonna rip them off, take them back into the kitchen, and now we will unwrap those beautiful looking ribs. Flip them over, um, and now we'll go to the stove where we've got a nice little warm glaze hanging out. And we're going to bring that back over. Look at that, beautiful. And simply pour it over the ribs. Get it all glossy, sexy looking, because everyone likes their glossy, sexy looking ribs. That's it. Make sure you've got a nice even coat. I'll do it the povo way, um, because I don't have a basting brush handy. But as you can see, it worked absolutely fine. 
Now back onto the barbecue with those bad boys. Uh, another 10, 15 minutes just to set the glaze. Oh yeah, glazy set. And now we're gonna chop them up and then we're gonna eat them. It's gonna be that simple. Oh, this, um, this leftover glazy, buttery, juicy goodness, we're gonna save that because that's going to get poured back over the top once we've cut them up. So get your knife. Well, knife's a good start anyway. I'd recommend using a knife to cut the ribs. Uh, forks don't work so well. Um, neither do spoons. So chop them up. That way everyone gets to have a rib. That little bit of extra sauce. We're going to grab that and that's going to go back over the top. Oh, fuck yeah. See, you just can't say no to that good stuff. And then eat it. It's really good.